Hey, my name's Alex. Thanks so much for checking out Dispatch Robot. Our goal, to help trucking companies book better freight. And using some of the latest advancements in AI, Dispatch Robot searches the load boards and notifies you of the best loads. So let's install it. Here we are on the website, click Start Free Trial. That opens up the Chrome Web Store. And you can just click the button, Add to Chrome, and then Add Extension. And you can see Dispatch Robot has been added to Chrome and it automatically opened our thank you page. Here on this page, you can schedule a demo with me if you have any additional questions. Now open up the load board, either Truck Stop or DAT, and you can just refresh those pages to load the newest version of Dispatch Robot. Now we just click sign in with Google, it'll process, and it should open up which account you'd like to sign in with. I'm gonna sign in with Alex at dispatchrobot.ai. That's my email, feel free to email me if you have any questions, and we'll click allow right there. And there we go, we should be signed in. And so now we have these icons here. And if we go back to DAT, it, should, it automatically signs in with DAT or DAT. We wanted to make Dispatch Robot super easy to use. So we have three notification options. First is highlighting. If you disable it, when you're looking at this list of loads, which one's the good one, right? This is the problem usually that like there's too many loads to choose from. Most of them are really not that great. And so highlighting automatically just highlights the best load on your search. Next, we have pop out. When you click the pop out, it pops out the best loads into this uh, new window that we call the load inbox, and it'll automatically search all of the searches on this website, on the load board, on DAT right now. If we go to truck stop, we can enable pop out on truck stop too. And so now it'll, it'll search for the best loads across your searches on truck stop and DAT, right? So each one is specific to that load board. So you can see these green loads are coming in. That means it's saying, hey, these are the best loads. And so right here, the red one means it's from truck stop. The blue one means it's from DAT. And so then you can scroll through these loads and we're using your arrow keys and you can just see these are the best loads on your searches. Now this pop out that we call the load inbox, we wanted to stuff it full of features that help dispatchers and trucking company owners make decisions really quick. So first thing, you just click on the arrow that opens up the map and you can make a decision. Sometimes it's a small town, you don't really know where it is. And so this one click opens up the map. So we can click away to close that. And next we have click to call. For example, this phone number right here, you could click on it and it would open up one of the VoIP voice over IP that uh, we support. There's four of them currently. If you're using one that's not supported, please let me know. And we can definitely get that support integrated, but you can click on that phone number. But for example, this broker put the other phone number in the, in the notes, in the comments of the load board. So that click to call actually works on those phone numbers as well. So if you enable click to call, it's gonna make you super fast. Also, you can see they have an email here, so you can just have clicked the email. And so as long as you request the email access, you can fire off an email really quickly. And the other thing is if you hover over the rate, it gives you the lane rate. So even though this load at first seems good, St. Charles, Illinois to Center Valley PA, when you hover over, it gives you the lane rate for the last week. And technically it should be paying 2,100 bucks, right? 2,126, but he's only paying 1,600. And if you hover over the miles, that gives you your miles plus your deadhead. So it's actually 816. And so you can see, including your deadhead, it changes the rate per mile right here on the right. And so you can see it goes from 773 to 816 to include your deadhead. And that drops the rate per mile from 207 to 196. Now, moving on to the third notification style, that's email. So you would click on this email icon, you would type in your email. I'm gonna type in our support email, support at dispatchrobot.ai. And you click okay. So now what this is doing is when it's finding the best loads, not only is it gonna pop it out in the inbox, it'll actually send it to your email as well that you just typed in. And what this does, the problem with the, with the pop out is you still have to sit at the computer. Right. And it's like, that's the frustrating part being a dispatcher. You literally have to sit here hours on end, just monitoring the load board, just in case that one good load comes out. This is where notify via email comes in. Now it sends these loads to your email. And so hopefully you have your email on your phone and you can then take a look and book the load from your phone. So here I've opened my email and you can see the loads are coming in and they look exactly the same. You can quickly tell that if it's blue, it's from DAT. If it's red, it's from truck stop. And so you, same thing, you can click on the arrow and that opens up your map. And this way you can actually have your email on your phone and take, take a break, step away from the computer, all while Dispatch Robot is searching the, the load board for the best loads. If you have any questions, feel free to send a message or book a demo with us. We can go over all these things in details. Thank you.